So in this week's prompt, we're asked to explain why blood pressure regulation to an uncle that kind of questions a uh, doctor's recommendation to help lower it um, and why it is important. So the first thing that you kind of want to address with this family member is that blood pressure itself, what it simply is, and it's just basically the amount of force that's exerted on the vascular system um, by the heart pumping the blood all the way throughout the entire body. So this is going to include um, all the vessels, all the different organs throughout the body, and everywhere that blood is going to flow. Um, so there are a couple different ways that the body actually regulates your blood pressure inside the body. Um, there's the nervous system, hormones, and then also the cardiovascular system itself that helps keep this in balance. Um, there's a regular range that we want to keep this, and this allows the body to perfuse all the organs and the internal structures, but you don't want it so high that it creates a strain on the entire system. Um, if this strain is kept up for a long time, um, there's a lot of things that can happen. We'll kind of discuss those in a little bit. Um, so some of the things that the doctor recommended to the uncle um, would be lifestyle changes, including um, less salt intake, losing weight, and exercise. So with the salt intake, simply put, um, wherever salt is, water follows. So if you have a large amount of salt in your body, there's going to be a larger amount of fluid in your cardiovascular system. And the cardiovascular system is a finite space, so if there's more fluid in there, there's going to be more pressure on everything. So lower amounts of salt can help lower blood pressure. Um, with weight loss, um, as you get heavier, there's more and more uh, literal tissue that's being pushed on the cardiovascular system. And it's also harder for the heart to pump to all this extra tissue with all that restrictive weight being pushed on it. And then finally with exercise, um, this helps strengthen the cardiac muscles itself. Um, it helps you lose weight. And then it also does things um, like eases tension, increases muscle mass, and that can help return through the venous system blood to the heart. All things that make the heart not work as hard and makes it easier on the heart. Um, so these things, as I had mentioned, aren't um, going to immediately affect your health. Having high blood pressure is something that you can have for years and years. They call it a silent killer because you really don't recognize or have symptoms for this until it's too late. Um, you may think that they're just overreacting at the time, but it's one of those things that as time goes on, you're going to see more and more issues with the body itself. Um, one of the big ones that um, I see in nursing all the time, um, heart attacks, strokes, and kidney problems. Um, heart attacks, pretty simple. Um, just with that increased blood pressure, there's more pressure on the coronary arteries that are pushing to the heart. Um, and then also with being overweight and lack of exercise, there can be atherosclerosis and buildup of plaques that will cause um, heart attacks and strokes. Um, and keeping that blood pressure in control is a good way to help prevent those and following those other recommended lifestyle changes it really helps keep um, those issues kind of out of out of reach and leads to a lot better lifestyle as well. Um, the other one that is really common are kidney issues. Uh, the capillaries inside the kidneys and cells are some of the smallest and the thinnest on in the body. So with an increased amount of pressure, those ones are more likely to be blocked up and those ones are also more likely to be caused have issues with the increased pressure. So although blood pressure at a, for a certain amount of time isn't going to be a big deal, over time it's going to lead to a lot more issues and it's going to lead to a shorter lifespan.